Today we're going to take a look at another watch from one of my favourite micro watch brands, the King from Mr Jones Watches. But before we begin, here's your chance to win free subscriptions to the channel. Yes, free subscriptions. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and that's it. You'll be automatically a winner. And to top it all, if you tell your friends and family about this amazing offer, they too can subscribe and win for free. Terms and conditions do not apply. So, not only was I ecstatic after contacting Mr. Jones Watches at the beginning of the year to see if they would send me the last laugh to review, links to these reviews can be found in the description below, I was even more elated when I contacted them yet again months later to get my hands on another one of their cool watches which I had my eye on for them to agree. And just with the last laugh, the king comes nicely presented. Inside this cardboard sleeve is this tough box, which opens up to reveal the information manual and... Hold on a minute. Where's watch gone? I'm sure it was here. Ah, ah hold on. I've forgotten. I've got to do this first. Abracadabra. That should be it. Let's see... There we are. Obviously, I must make it abundantly clear from the outset that I have not been paid for this review. The watch was given to me to keep, but either way, as I've always maintained, I will be giving my wholehearted, honest opinions based currently on the couple of weeks so far that I have owned the watch, and I will more than likely re-review the watch again in months to come when I have spent a little bit more time with it. Now, of course, this is not going to be to everyone's taste, and that's brilliant. What a boring old world it would be if everyone liked the same watches. <clears throat> but I bet if you don't like these, you will certainly know people who will do. It's by no means anywhere near as controversial as some micro watch brand designs. And you don't have to have a large bank balance in order to be able to afford one. They're currently only retail for £215, including shipping to the UK, the EU and the US. As you can see, uh, the box, though simple, is rather inviting, and the watch is stunning. I love the contrast between the classic-style light and simple case with this cool, vibrant and eye-catching design, which is complemented by this mesh bracelet, which also adds a good amount of weight to the watch, as well as setting this beautifully designed dial alight. Just look at that. I have held a couple of uh, leather straps up to the watch to see how this would look, and though a good alternative, if you prefer leather that is, of course, I don't feel it has the same impact on the design. So the mesh bracelet, in my view, is definitely the way forward. The only negative I have about the strap is pretty much the same I have with all fine weaved mesh uh, bracelets, which is pretty unavoidable. Unavoidable, and that is the sides, uh, if worn too loosely, can feel a little scratchy on the wrist. So you'll possibly need to move the clasp along and one notch or two if your wrists swell in the heat. Otherwise, sized correctly, you won't have any of these problems at all. Um, an awesome thing about this and other Mr. Jones watches, other than without a shadow of a doubt being a conversation starter, is the means of telling the time. Granted, upon first inspection, it does look a little confusing, but it's really not. It's very simple indeed, as you can see here. Pretty self-explanatory, right? The cards on the left rotate, uh, showing the minutes. The heart shapes display in the middle shows the hours, with uh, the club symbol showing one o'clock. I'll show you here. There we go. Uh, with ordinary numbers, with the hours thereafter. But you'll also notice a grey area behind the minutes. This grey patch, don't worry, we all get them, <laughs> helps to give a slightly more precise indication to the addition or omission or precision of minutes over the hour, which shows a lot of thought has been put in every aspect of the design and function. Here's a bit of trivia for you. You may or may not know that playing cards have an incredibly rich history, dating back to the Tang Dynasty in the 9th century. However, these playing cards had challenges written out on them, and they were used as a drinking games. The individual had to play out the forfeit written on the card. Not so different from our drinking card games of today. It wasn't until the 14th century that playing cards made their way to Europe in many different forms, with many different functions. 
the card games that we know so well didn't start to appear until around the 15th century, and they were slightly different designs and rules uh, country to country. The design we all pretty much settled for came from the 16th century French designs. The different kings, clubs, diamonds, hearts and spades, were originally named after kings throughout history. Initially, the king of clubs was Alexander the Great, the king of diamonds was Julius Caesar, and the king of hearts, King Charles of France, and finally, the king of spades, King David of Israel. But they don't represent any kings of past or present anymore. The beautifully uh, designed case, which measures 37 millimeters in diameter, is the perfect size for any size wrist. And just like the last laugh, this uses a made-to-order automatic cigar movement. Now, cigar movements are manufactured by the Tianjin Watt factory based in China. They are basically China's equivalent to the Swatch Group's ETA and is recognized as the top movement manufacturer out of the five major movement manufacturers in China and Hong Kong. Their top end and mid-range movements, which this uses, that's the 20 Joule ST1721, is an excellent, robust workhorse, rarely ever seen in any other watches nowadays. And though parts of these watches have been manufactured in other countries, just like many Swiss brands, hint, hint, uh, all of Mr. Jones' watches have been hand-designed, hand-assembled, manually tested and hand-finished here in the UK in their studios in London, which makes it even harder to understand how they charge so little for them. And the king, by the way, has a spouse, the queen, as seen hither, which makes these the ideal watch for him, her, him and her, him and him, her and her, and so on. Mr. Jones watches are super fun, super cool and extremely affordable. And what Mr. Jones watches has made me reopen my eyes to is that fun watches are not just for kids, but us adults too. Okay, us big kids. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. And don't forget your chance to win free subscriptions to the channel by hitting that subscribe button now. Until the next time.